Okay. Tape two. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I was going to look at the time. But it's after 12 o'clock um, Friday, February 24th, I think. Anyway, so if you don't see the red live button, you're catching the replay. So if you would, put hashtag replay in the comments, and I will greet you when I go through them. So thank you for hopping on. Uh, say hello when you hop on. I'm going to show you all my way of cleaning windows. And um, I've not really ever seen anybody else do it this way. It's just something that I kind of figured out on my own. And um, I hate to see my windows dirty. So, and where we live, my neighborhood has two entrances in. And one of them is my street that runs in front of my house. And I'm on a corner lot. And then there's another one, a um, couple streets over that, that uh, are the two entries into this neighborhood. It's an older neighborhood. We have a lot of oak trees, pine trees, and also, and then of course we're in Houston, Texas. I'm borderline, of, I'm right at the edge of Houston, so, uh, of, of Houston and Clear Lake. I'm like five miles from NASA Space Center. So I guess because of so much traffic going across through the front of my house, my windows get dirty very quickly. Hello, Joy and Penny and Charlene um, and Nancy. Thank you for hopping on. Do all the things. You know all the goodness. Um, I know people get tired of hearing that same old song and dance, right? Y'all know what to do. Um, so anyway, and there will be happy mail on this one too. So y'all know up to five times in public, send it out and we'll do um, happy mail nest. Sorry. You do hear a lot of airplanes here because I have airport not too far from my house and then one across across the street where my grandson was doing his pilot license or his pilot training. But anyway, um, so my windows get dirty a lot. I don't like it. So when we bought this house in 2010, um, we had the windows changed out because they just had those old aluminum. So I have new vinyl. I guess, I don't know. I guess you call them vinyl. I don't know. But so when I do the inside of them, there's two latches that I can pull it to clean the part that has the screen on it. So, but this method I'm going to show y'all, I do for my outside. I don't do it for the inside, but this is for the outside. So I'm going to show y'all. You probably can't tell in this video how dirty they are, but, oh, what I was saying, we have a lot of humidity here in the Houston area, so sometimes we can get up in the morning and the windows are covered with moisture and it's not even raining. So when cars go by and the dust is going, you know, that's how dirty they get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mop, one of these mops, and I don't know if y'all can see. I can't tell if y'all can see my bucket there. Uh, but y'all know those buckets that you use your foot to spin it, to spin this out. So I've got a clean mop head. I got three of these. So, you know, I put them through the wash with all my rags and stuff from cleaning. And um, so what I'm going to do before I put this in my water is I'm going to add a little bit of Dawn liquid. Dawn liquid is great for everything. I use it to clean my makeup brushes, my paint brushes. I put a little in my um, my glass with my where I put my brushes to uh, soak when I craft. But great for cleaning makeup brushes. Um, and I use it to clean my vanity in my bathroom. I keep a small bottle on my Lazy Susan in my bathroom um, because when I after I get ready in the morning and brush my teeth and everything. I just go ahead and do a little quick wash over my vanity and I keep it clean all the time. So I'm just gonna put just, um, I don't know, an eighth of a teaspoon or so in there of Dawn. And then I'm gonna use distilled white vinegar and I'm just gonna pour some in there. Yes, a spin mop is what I'm using. So I'm just gonna, Pour a little bit of that in there, okay? And I've got my razor blade. I keep these in my craft room and in my kitchen because this is how I clean my stove glass top is with this and bar keepers 
and it gets all the junk off of there. I like it to be shiny, shiny clean, okay? So, um, so I keep it in a drawer right next to my stove, and then I keep one next to my craft table because I have a glass piece of glass over my desk, and it just scrapes everything off. Um, so I'm going to keep this handy. What I like to have is an apron, and I've got to order me one because I gave my cleaning lady my apron, um, and you can order it from speedcleaning.com, and it has a place for everything in your apron. So you have everything on you, and you save steps. So when you need your razor blade, it's in, of course, it would be in a holder. Um, and you have everything handy. So I'm going to mix this up, and I'm going to be a little bit away so I won't see comments. Um, hello, Karen Dye. Yes, speed, uh, spit, oh, what do you call it? A spin. More sp so I'm mixing up my solution in my water. I have hot water. Oh, y'all can't see me. I have hot water in here, as hot as I could get it out of my sink, and then I'm not going to spin it, okay? I'm going to put my razor blade right there. And the reason I may use a razor blade is because of the oak trees. Um, sometimes there's little things that get stuck on there that don't come off with this mop. So I'm not spinning it, and I'm just taking my mop, and I'm going to, and I want to clean not just the glass, but also the, um, the outside of the window as well, okay? I'm just going to clean like that. See, uh, yep, and I see some stuff stuck on it. And then I just take my razor blade and just do it like that. It does not, it does not scratch. Oh, I forgot I got a microphone on. I'm sitting here yelling, thinking I've got to reach all over there. But um, I have my mic on. So I just, I don't know if y'all can hear it when I'm hitting those things that are stuck on there. And uh, see right there. And so I think I got them all on there. And you don't even have to use any paper towels or anything to dry. Um, and you really don't even have to rinse it. But just because this water might get dirty from dipping and all that, I do have my water hose on. And I will run it over and clean it. Now, I also have my green scrubby pad in my water. And I've got that so that I can do around the window here the the vinyl part or whatever i'm getting out of breath already y'all and just kind of scrub all of this and we've had a a guy here painting our trim going over all of our trim and repainting it um and so we've been doing that so now I'm just going to do this, and I probably should have my step stool because I'm only 5'2", and I can't reach that without getting up at the top, but I'm just going to go over it with the mop. Okay. I'm just going to go over it. Okay. Now, I think I can slide my screens up. I don't remember um, to get the bottom part. Um, let me get my scraper. Can you hear that? Those little things, whatever they are, that stick on there. I don't know if it's some sort of critter or if it's something from the oak trees. And scrape it. Okay. So it's aggravating when I'm on the inside and I'm cleaning my windows and I'm like, 
oh, they're so dirty on the outside. So it doesn't take long to do this. And I like clean windows. I guess that's something I get from my mother. She was a professional house cleaner. Um, and she was all about details and having the windows clean and cleaning baseboards and all of that. So, okay. Now, I'm going to take the water hose and I'm just going to spray that part. And then I'll see if I can get the bottoms done. If I don't, I can do them from the inside. And so I'll just run some water over that. Spray the debris out of the top there. Okay, and I'm watering the grass at the same time, so it's just running in the in the yard. Um, but now it's going to look nice. Nothing better than driving up to a house that's got beautiful, clean windows. And uh, and now we're working on the yard. My husband's trimmed all the lantanas all back, and so um, now let me see if I can move these up. Yep, looky there. So my screen slide up. Okay, now the window seals are pretty dirty. So let's see what we can do with the bottom now. So I won't have to use the razor blade on the bottom because the screen keeps, I think. No, I see some I see some stuck on there. I will be using the razor blade. And that mop. This, I take the edge of the mop and it cleans that window seal really good. So it cleans that part real good. Okay. Look how dirty. Look how dirty. Okay, so I slosh it in here. Start again. In fact, I probably should have rinsed my mop with the water hose before putting it back in my water because I just contaminated my water more by putting it in there after going all over this dirty seal right there. Okay. All right. That looks really good. Look like new windows again. I'm going to rinse that. Oh, well. For sake of the video, I'm not going to. But typically, you could use the water hose to rinse some of that dirt out of that mop. Scrape this. Oh, it's got a lot of something on there. I hear it. It sounds like paint. Like uh, overspray from paint. Maybe I didn't do the bottom last time when I did my windows. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see me. Um, I'm wearing shorts today, y'all. It's uh, pretty warm, pretty warm here in Houston. And this razor blade does not scratch the glass. And it does not scratch my stove top either. So don't worry. If you hold it sideways, you know, it'll hold it down almost flat, as flat as you can. It, you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Now I'm going to take my green scrubby, and I'm just going to go over my window seal where the mop didn't touch. And get that clean. Okay. Clean my screen a little bit right there. Whoops. Guys, I even drop things when I'm cleaning windows. I think every live I'm going to drop something. Okay. Yep. And I'll tell you what, it feels good when the windows are clean. And we get all the housework done. 
Fridays are a good day to get it done. So you wake up to a clean house on Saturday and enjoy your weekend, man. Who wants to take the weekend and work all weekend to uh, clean the house? Just stay up late on Friday night and clean the house. Delegate to everybody to get some jobs done. So, now what I really need, oh, it's coming out pretty good. I need a, a scrub brush to do the, the brick, the brick seal of under the windows. All right. Now I'm going to put the screens back down and I'll take the phone off and show y'all kind of up close. Okay, now, if you wanted to, you could use some rags. I wouldn't waste paper towels. Save your rags. They can go in the wash and reuse them over and over. Don't waste paper towels. Um, you can if you want to, but I'm just saying. I like to try to be wise with the money. And it looks like the painter got some paint on my windows. So I'm going to have to try to fix that because that looks like a mess. Um, okay. Let me take y'all up close. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if I can get this out without messing it up very carefully. There we go. And I'm going to turn you around. Okay. So... There is how clean, and it didn't take long, okay? And you can see where my painter got black paint on my window. That really upsets me. But, um, and see? See how clean it is? And look, when you open that, where the screen is, I got it clean. And if I had a brush, a scrub brush, I could scrub this too with that same water in my mop bucket. Okay, so and like I said, we have we've got a lot of oak trees in our medium right there, and we get a lot of acorns. So, um, but you can see on the curb there is, and this is the main road coming in and out of this neighborhood. But there's a lot of leaves gathered up there. Of course, our lawn people will usually clean this up when they come, but still, there's traffic constantly, and so it just makes the windows dirty. So, let's see. Well, you can't really tell, but I was going to show y'all. Um, that's the clean ones, and then my dad's room has, haven't done his yet, but let's show you how dirty they are. So... Well, you can't really tell, but look in that window seal. Look. Oh! Oh! See how dirty? So, this one's my next one. But I won't keep y'all on to do that. And, uh, so, that's that. And I'll do the same thing to clean my door. I will take and use that mop, and I will clean my window with that mop and the door and clean it up because it's all dusty and everything. And my door, my husband needs to get one of the guys over here to maintenance this door because if we go too much longer, he's gonna have to strip it. But um, right now, he can put a soft sand on it and put a clear coat on it again with a cap full of stain to enhance it. And then our door will look new again. It needs to look like the trim. The trim, the stained trim. So, 
Okay. All right. I am going to hop off. And that is my quick way to clean windows. I hope that helps you. And um, I'll try to put a, one of these mop buckets on my link tree. But I think you can get them at Walmart, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. We order everything and it's delivered pretty much. But anyway, um, when I start cleaning inside, I may do a live in there showing y'all how to um, do speed cleaning. And um, I'll just give y'all some tips on that, possibly. I really want to have my apron here, but um, I'll just put everything in a caddy. And I'll just explain how the apron would work if you have it. <laughs> um, but I'll show y'all how I do the speed cleaning. So thank y'all for joining me and doing all the goodness, sprinkling and tagging friends and all those things and the emojis. I appreciate it. And I will see y'all shortly. Bye-bye.